Today I'm making money making guide for low levels in RuneScape. Let's get started. First of all, I want to start with a well known method that not everyone uses actually, Vine of Zamorak. This is really decent money making method if you don't have a lot of money. All you need is a 33 magic level and a little bit of law runes, as well 3. As well there has been an update if you want to use a upper floor you will need to have a Zamorak top and bottom. They are around 3k gold. For my trips I bring myself a looting bag, 5 monkfish, super restore, air and law runes, as well a glory amulet for quick teleportation to Edgeville. Then I run to the spot and simply telegraph the wines of Zamorak. I use first and second floor for better profit per hour. But if you want to grab in the first floor, you will get damaged by every single grab. It's like 4 or 5 damage. This is anti-botting system, which is really really amazing. And now we have no bots grabbing the wines of Zamorak. Once my magic level gets drained that I can't use the telegrab, I sip the potion and continue grabbing till full inventory. Once the inventory is full, I teleport to Edgeville, deposit my loot and start all over again. One trip will take around 20 minutes and you will get around 78k minus the food, law runes and restore potion. So in one hour you can expect around 400k GP which is really good if you don't have any money and you want to maintain a bond. If you don't have a lot of money and you don't mind intensive clicking, I suggest trying crushing bird nests because it doesn't require anything, the only thing you will need is a little bit of money like 1 or 2 million gold or even lower than that but you will have to sell nests more often so it's really simple just buy bird nests for the normal price they sell instantly because people do birdhouse runs and you will be able to buy them for a long long time then grab your pestle and mortar and click away I did only 500 in 6 minutes and I managed to get 45k and 500 GP but I sold them for minus 5% so just to be faster you can wait of course to get a little bit more than me this method is really really good for people who want to get a bond but don't know where to start so simply buy nests and crush them for a decent amount of money you will get around 500 kgp per hour next is tanning black dragon hide for this method you won't need any requirements actually but it is necessary to have at least two or three million gp if you don't want to go to the grand exchange very often so as well if you want to start from 1 to 2 million GP you can of course there's no big deal teleporting to grand exchange every time you need hides but it will decrease your money per hour. So to show you guys I bought 600 black dragon hides because I don't have the money and tanned them in 13 minutes with 1 stamina potion. If you don't want to use stamina potions you will get a little bit lower GP per hour because if you only walk you can tan like 2000 heights in one hour and if you run with stamina potions you can go to 2800 heights per hour. So after I tanned my heights I managed to get 166k and 200 GP from 13 minutes of work. So in one hour you will get around 760k GP which is really really amazing because you don't need anything, just some money, like 1 million, 2 million gold. I don't get it. Why people complain that they can't get a bond in 14 days? I mean, with this method you can get in one day easily, just easy money. It's not click intensive at all and it's just easy money. 760k per hour with no requirements at all, you just need 1 or 2 million GP. I can, you can even start with, I don't know, like, like 500k but you will just go to the bank more often. But you can still do it, you know? So why not? Why not? It's simple. Next money making tip is to kill wilderness ants. I don't know why people are so scared of killing them. I, I don't actually know. They are just in 20 wildy and you can just teleport out very quickly with your glory amulet. To get a decent amount of money you will need to have a decent wood cutting level and of course range level. I recommend to have 75 plus wood cutting and 60 plus range for this method. My gear is very simple actually, just black dragon hide, archer's helm, rune arrows, avas accumulator, snakeskin boots, borrow's gloves, glory, as well I'm bringing some prayer points for extra damage, 
my best axe which is dragon one a little bit of food in case of pkers you know those pkers games necklace to get to the ants and if you have a looting bag of course it's very simple to get to the ants just teleport to corporal corporal beast with game necklace get out of the dungeon and you're here to kill them yeah just simple as that just go a little bit north in the woods and start killing ants they are very simple to save spot just look what i'm doing once the ant is dead he will drop a log simply chop it and you will get some logs depending on your wood cutting level of course i'm 99 so actually i'm not 99 i have 70.5 million gp in wood cutting and i will get a decent amount of magic logs uh, this log will be around for one minute so you can just chill and watch for other pkers for other people okay so i managed to get from 10 minutes of killing ants around 90k gp so in one hour you can get from 500 to 600 kgp this is a great way to get some extra gold if you want but i know that there are some people who are scared of wilderness Ooh, 20 zone you know peak carriers and stuff just watch out for them you have a quick teleport out to the edge will there's nothing to be worried i think because okay you might get pk'd you might but i i have never get I, n I have never got pk'd in this uh place i just teleport if there's uh, some person similar to my level and looks really aggressive i just teleport out to the edge well that's it that's it last money making method is collecting more tamir fungus you will need silver sickle blessed the blessed silver sickle can only be obtained during and after completion of the nature spirit quest 60 percent favor in archaeus to unlock the teleports 40 magic for the teleport, soul and law runes for the actual teleport and dual ring for fast banking in castle wars. To recharge prayers I will be using someone else house because I am a hobo you know. A decent prayer, prayer level would be an advantage. I will be collecting fungus for 10 minutes and you will see the loot. So I have finished 10 minute trip and I managed to get 113,000 gold which isn't bad. So for one hour you will get around 700k gold. This is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. And as always guys, have fun scaping.